Unlocking the phrase, to be in the stocks. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, to be in the stocks. This phrase has a rich history and offers a great opportunity to explore how language evolves over time. Whether you're an English language learner or just love exploring idiomatic expressions, this video is for you. So, let's get started and unlock the secrets behind this intriguing phrase. To be in the stocks originates from a form of punishment used in medieval and early modern Europe. The stocks were a device made of heavy wood with holes for securing the ankles. People were placed in the stocks as a form of public humiliation and punishment for various offenses, ranging from minor crimes to more serious ones. This method was not only about punishment but also about public shaming, as those in the stocks were often placed in a central location where passers-by could see them, mock them, or even throw rotten food at them. When we say someone is in the stocks in a modern context, it's important to note that we're not talking about the literal punishment device. Instead, this phrase is used metaphorically to describe a situation where someone is being publicly shamed or criticized. It's a vivid way to express the concept of public embarrassment or being the focus of negative attention. For example, if a public figure is caught in a scandal and is being heavily criticized by the media and the public, they could be said to be in the stocks. Understanding how to use to be in the stocks in conversation or writing is crucial for English learners. It's typically used in more formal or literary contexts and can add a dramatic flair to the description of someone's misfortune or public scrutiny. Here are a few examples. After the news of the financial scandal broke out, the CEO found himself in the stocks, with every news outlet covering the story. The politician's controversial statement put her in the stocks of public opinion, facing widespread criticism. To be in the stocks is more than just an idiomatic expression. It's a window into history and human behavior, illustrating how the past shapes our language and expressions. We hope this exploration has not only expanded your English vocabulary but also enriched your understanding of the language's cultural depth. Remember, language learning is a journey filled with discoveries just like this. Keep exploring, and you'll find that every phrase has a story. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in our next video.